Greetings folks, Irish Trekkie back another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection issue review. This time we have the XL variant of the USS Enterprise NCC-1701-E. Looking forward to this one as well. I normally say that because there's a lot of buzz around these XL models and you know my feeling generally on these. But um, I'm very happy to be able to be in a position to now make some videos for E. And uh, that's all thanks to Eagle Moss and for transparency they have gifted me this model without condition. So again I have, will be doing a review obviously but the thoughts and opinions remain my own and there's no conditions outside of that. So sit back, hopefully you'll enjoy some of the content here and sound off in the comments below what you think of the XL uh, Enterprise C. And if you're interested in the other XLs do check out the description box for some of the other XLs that I have reviewed as well. There is a playlist there for your viewing pleasure. If you want to just relax, kick the feet up off an evening and uh, watch some Starship goodness. So we have a decent sized box here, a little bit bigger than the previous. I think uh, probably by the time I upload this, I'll have uploaded the um, and published the Reliant video. And um, if you haven't checked that out, do after this video or pause and come back to this one. But let's check out the Enterprise C. Da, 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 da. Ooh, quite nice. Now, I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room in a minute. So, just to let you know, we have 2920 A Enterprise C. And uh, there's our traditional Eagle Must Stand. Very short rise on this one, so it'll be interesting to see this one on its mount. But the elephant in the room, um, the Enterprise C, even the smaller version, had its fair share of critics in the fact that uh, there's a slight variation between some of the, the sculpts on these guys. Um, sound off in the comments below what your opinion on this is. I'm just going to be looking at this model as it is now and uh, seeing kind of what tickles my fancy in this first look review. But um, so far, quite impressive size actually. I mean, I'd be nice to see this with the uh, Enterprise D maybe in another video as a kind of side by side. Because they do share some kind of similarities, but, you know, they're kind of direct uh, family of each other, you know, the C to the D. But, um, yeah, let's get up close and personal with this and uh, check out some of the details, shall we? Here we go, folks. Initially, very happy with it, to be honest with you. Um, it's quite impressive on the, the paint and sculpts. Now, as I say, we've talked about the sculpts. There are slight variances on it. I'm just going to look at what we have in our hand here as well. But listen, by all means, chat in the comments below where you think are the successes and maybe the areas of opportunity, to put it politely, on this. Now, these are pricey, so I completely get why people want a particular version of it. And again, um, something that I didn't actually pick up hugely in the Excel, X, uh, Excel review, Excelsior even, that uh, it's quite close to the variant from... Voyager versus the Star Trek 6 uh, variant of the um, Excelsior. But I still like it, to be honest with you, but um, I get where people are coming from on that side of things. Um, this is quite nice. Uh, the nacelles are jumping out at me, you know, with the kind of the, the large plastic pieces on them and the kind of little bit of a nice design with the kind of ribbing off it. Very large, prominent deflector, quite heavy, die cast plastic. Uh, plastic maybe on the kind of the ventral side here you can kind of see the seam integrated into the the, the paneling lines on it as well so let's do a close pass and you can see this paneling as regards to like the discs going around and then everything else is kind of painted in uh, paint applications those uh, stripes the phase strips are quite nice you have your uh, escape pods the lettering is quite nice on it as well bridge module Kind of some interesting little white dots around it there but again it looks a little bit on the kind of odd side there to me um get rid of that there nice detailing around the kind of bridge section and these phaser strips are covered with a line here as well which is a little bit odd you don't have it on these phaser strips over here but uh, just a bit of a paint anomaly there what was missing in the last Enterprise was the impulse, which we do have here. It's a little bit of a kind of dull area on the XL, on the XL Enterprise C, isn't it? Uh, you, you would kind of think maybe some uh, Azteking, which you can kind of see 
in certain areas along the neckline over here as well but uh there's opportunities that that could have been a little bit better and um, the rcs units could be a little bit detail more detailed they're just giant kind of yellow boxes but for this scale you could have put some kind of more detail in there uh, windows are quite nice though there's no moles on the actually there is there's a slight mold on the top of the saucer and they are misaligned but the mold is so subtle i don't know if you can kind of capture it there on video but there is uh, but they're they are misaligned but only slightly to be honest with you nacelles quite nice you have your decals on there as well your ship registry your pennant everything looks very crisp your shuttle bay nice little kind of almost kind of runway-esque vibe on the lead into it there and you have your nav lights and your decals on the pylons as well and your drive section nice little pennant line up here the, the stripes even and then you have your pennants and your united federation a large one just on the ventral side of the drive section too the ventral side of the saucer looks quite nice to be honest with you we still have a little bit of air above there as well uh nice bold very clean dome um you had that kind of paint stripes going on here as well you have your skate pods your nav lights a little bit of a paint blemish here as you can see so a couple of paint blemishes on it um now one thing the central support is very prominent in like you can see it right through the saucer section so that's kind of a, a bit of a shame to be honest with you um i don't know if you could have made it a little bit more opaque or, or put an opaque background behind the um saucer that saucer sorry the deflector so cap it and then put this on here as well because that that's again in the light like you can't see it until it's like dead on in the camera so um yeah that's not fantastic always liked the enterprise c bridge or the, the the neck module off it here if i can get it into focus very excelsior i like that nice and strong and rigid um it's 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 nice it's nice there's a couple of things as i've mentioned there now and um, that kind of irk me to be honest with you um but overall it is quite nice quite heavy as well uh let's see what she's like on the stand and we'll compare it to the regular enterprise c as well so it sits nice on the stand centrally mounted not very high but again it's a taller ship versus some of the like if you look at the reliant xl that we saw obviously there's no drive section on that ship so it has a kind of tall uh kind of stork uh on it um but it, it looks pretty nice actually when you see it on the stand um obviously if the light's coming in it's going to capture the inside of that deflector dish which shows that central support there which you shouldn't really be seeing at all and there's a couple of areas that I think would have benefited from more detailing on it. Uh, as I said earlier, there's a couple of variations of this depending on like the CG and uh, the models and so on and so forth as to what is exactly accurate. I'll leave that in the comments for you to have a chat about anyway. Um, but let's compare just to get a sense of scale between the XL and the uh, regular Enterprise C. Now, interestingly enough, the pylons are different on both of these ships even though they're both enterprise c's from the same company uh, you have the xl version and you have the traditional version you'll see the pylons are more swept back on the xl whereas when the regular version comes into it you'll see that they're pretty much vertical um, now obviously the two of them are very very similar some slight different paint applications you have like a blue ring around the edge here that we don't have on the XL version, but um, they are quite, you know, they're, they're sisters off each other for sure. Now, for the most part, a lot of the detail is very similar between them. Uh, it is again, a little bit more refined on the XL version. You have a slightly different window layout, especially around the leading edge of the saucer section. And uh, again, those different pylons but uh you can see the difference there's a there's a good difference in size there's a good difference in price mind you as well and um, like most of the xls there is 
there's there's generally been a different paint scheme for most of them as well so let me just show you that so take special notice of the paint app on the top of the saucer section and along the leading edge of the saucer section as well on the xl version when you see the regular version coming in um it's more in the blue spectrum and then you have the kind of ringed lines going around it as well so even between these two there are variations on it as well let me know which paint scheme you prefer um in it and uh, also you'll see the sculpt is a little bit different that you have the panel lines uh on here etched in where you don't have them on the xl i kind of wish there were more defined actually i wish there were panel lines rather than the the paint applications on it but um that's the two of them side by side so you let me know in the comments below but let's check out and see what we have on the magazine front shall we so here we go folks ambassador class launch 2332 length 520 meters with a top speed of warp 8.4 now let's see what we have here so we have the first pitch out of the past the script going to war and filming time for action as well so first appearance in yesterday's enterprise ambassador class uh, designed by rick sternbach after probert and uh, captain by rachel garrett as well okay so we're going to have kind of more off the production side of things rather than the ship because again this is a companion to the regular magazine issue so we have a little bit there on again yesterday's enterprise pitching all those stories so feel free to pause i just kind of briefly go through these guys here i like the episode yesterday's enterprise tasha year going to war turning the idea of yesterday's enterprise into a script was a painful process that the writers thought would end in disaster oh my poor old Riker. Little uh, teaser for an up and coming Excel video. <laughs> so check that out. And again, time for action as well. So there's a good bit of content in here as well, but again, it's more on the production side of things. The old belt and everything like that as well. Still haven't got that one. I'm waiting for that to come back into stock so I can pick that up. Um, really want to get the Enterprise uh, concept model in hand. I really like that one. And then you have the practical model of the Excelsior. So again, you can see the swept back pylons that we have on this one versus the not swept back on the um, smaller version. I'm just trying to look at the RCS units here as well, but you can kind of see some of the windows and detail that we saw on the Excel there as well, which is nice. And again, yesterday's Enterprise, some on screen imagery. That's pretty much it folks so a little bit of a little bit of reading there for sure um so i think we'll wrap it up there for today's video so folks let me know in the comments below what you think of the xl enterprise c is it something that you will be purchasing or if you have it what do you think holding it in your own hands as well let me know in the comments below and uh, do check out the description box for other uh, model review playlists going across the regular line battlestar galactica aliens and further excels and also plaques if you're so interested and uh, you can check me out across some of the social medias as well all the details are down there and uh, if you're so inclined and you want to help support the channel directly become a patron of the channel via the patreon link in the description box and uh, you'll be feeding directly into me and my abilities to uh, continue to develop the channel as well which would be greatly appreciated um outside of that I've been your local Irish Trekkie. Be sure to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest videos. And I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.